New Mexico needs teachers in schools like this one and for virtual learning in virtual classrooms. The entire state is short 750 teachers. The attorney general says a company designed to fill those positions took advantage of people desperate for a job in the United States. I believe that out of an opportunity, this company decided to start exploiting teachers by misrepresenting what these services were that were being provided. That company is Total Teaching Solutions and Liam Griffin represents it. We've got a teacher shortage to a certain extent and that there is a call for teachers of certain caliber coming from foreign countries where they may be the best teachers that that country has to offer and the, the salary that they get here would probably be far better than they might get in that country. Now he says the company brought about 80 teachers, mostly from the Philippines, all across the Pacific to the land of enchantment, and they now work in schools across the state. They take advantage for the teachers for like us that came from the Philippines. Attorney General Hector Balderas filed a lawsuit alleging Total Teaching Solutions charged them exorbitant fees, made fraudulent claims about helping them get work visas, and threatened to sue them and report them to immigration authorities if they did not pay. I'm convinced that many of these teachers could have secured employment on their own. So there was exaggerations saying that they would somehow provide uh, immigration support when in fact private companies have no authority over immigration services in the country. We deny most of the averments of the complaint because they're just based on falsehoods. According to the lawsuit, the company charged teachers from the Philippines $15,000. Here's what the company says it paid for. If you get your visa, you get your license, you get FBI clearance, and you get a job in the United States, TTSI's done what it bargained for. Target 7 tracked down six teachers recruited by the company. I thought in $15,000, everything is included. The fare, all those, uh, everything will be included. I, I thought I will not going to be shelling out money, uh, personal money. I thought it would be comfortable living here because it's America, and I'll be paying them 15000 for all the convenience that it would provide me. The company is named in the lawsuit and its owner, Janice Bickert. Court records show she is married to Ruidoso School Superintendent George Bickert. He is mentioned in the lawsuit, but is not a defendant. Knowing that he's part of the, the education department, that gives a plus point. Like, we, this skepticism would, would have been decreased, like, big, big time because of that. According to the lawsuit, the superintendent was contacting teachers trying to collect fees. He sent an email that I'm reminding for your payment from the school email address. The company's attorney says Bickert is not employed by Total Teaching Solutions. He may have sent an email or two, and yeah, that's probably problematic from somebody's perspective that, hey, we do potentially have a conflict of interest here, particularly if any of the teachers were employed in Redoso. But I don't think that's the case, and I, but I know it's not the case. People in public service, superintendents, principals, they're not allowed by law and their license to personally benefit uh, from that public institution. While the lawsuit plays out in the courts, many teachers on top of owing money to the company now face lawsuits from the company for breach of contract. And because of that, they remain in classrooms here in New Mexico trying to fill our teacher shortage. I'm scared of going back. I still have a lot of debt and I can't afford to go back. So it was, I, I just have to pick up myself from depression to work on it. For Target 7, Todd Kurtz, KOAT Action 7 News. Total Teaching Solutions has sued eight of the educators recruited from the Philippines for not paying their bill. They all denied liability. Seven of those are on hold while the attorney pursues his lawsuit. Those teachers also filed a countersuit, and that case is on hold, too. A judge ruled in favor of one of the teachers, saying there was a gross disparity between the value she received and the fees imposed upon her.